The joysticks on the side. This is a bulldozer simulator. The technology in this room allows students to get certificates in three fields in the construction industry. Earl Gale is one of the instructors for this vocational program. They get out of here and they want to go like to an OSHA and, uh, and get that proper safety training and then move on and like work for like say Amazon. The Soldier and High Vocational Technology Lab is the first program of its kind. Inside, a juvenile detention center. These kids know like, okay, that's, that could be real money instead of the money that you think you're getting out on the street. Gail has been an instructor at this school for 12 years. So this is a real school. People might think because we're in a jail that it's not a real school. They get their grades, they get their credits, they can graduate. I live by this one rule working here. If I can help one, I've done my job. He says he's seen students released and then cycle right back into the system within months, weeks, or even days. But learning a skill through this new program positions more students to avoid another run-in with the law. We're providing them the tools to be able to break that cycle. I think it is their right to have access to an education that they'll be empowered as citizens. Everybody can be somebody if a way is made for them. Soldier in High School's principal, Ronnie Jenkins, explains kids are inside the detention center typically for six to seven months. This vocational program requires 40 hours to get a certificate. I could envision us being here six, seven, eight years from now when we find out about a graduate who now owns a big construction company. Jenkins says that when he was in high school, he was almost sent to this detention center, but an officer stood up for him. I remember that, um, and I feel that I'm standing up for every student that's here. Or school in jail, you don't think of something like this. You would think of just like, okay, they come to school and then they go back upstairs. But now you actually give them an opportunity to actually learn some type of trades. When they do get out, they can actually do something with their lives. It's pretty incredible. In Newark, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.